I'm Minty, and for those who were not aware, March 4th, RuneScape and Old School RuneScape, well, plummeted into despair. People couldn't log in, uh, accounts were getting wiped, Ultimate Iron Man accounts, of course, because they would leave their death pile on the floor, and for those lucky some that could log in, could not switch worlds, and for those hardcore Iron Man out there, probably took advantage of the wild. It is now March 7th, the weekend is about to be over, and Jagex said that they would have most of this, if not all of this, fixed by the weekend. It looks like old school RuneScape is up and running. Their billing, their maintenance, and their Google Play seems to be working just fine. If it's not, let me know if you are affected down below so we can start getting that info. But it looks like the RuneScape team in general is not looking so hot. A lot of people still cannot log in, and some are even fearful that their accounts are gone. But before we get deeper into that, uh, this is where I go over most of what RuneScape is going through, the daily activity, because it is the most updated MMORPG of all time. So if that sounds good to you, and it looks like this could be a daily series as the last episode did very well, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos. I do appreciate that. Uh, so let's just jump into this here. <laughs> people still locked out of their accounts, and people able to log in. That is a RuneScape meme. Not an old school meme as I believe the old school team is doing just well. But the RuneScapers, those people playing RuneScape 3 are deeply, deeply impacted. And sadly, there is not much that they have told us so far. And as that is happening, the more that people can't log in, the more memes they post. Wait till my RS3 account is fixed. Create an OSRS account. Uh, hey, Guys, from the RuneScape community, feel free to join the old school. We're great, a little toxic, but open arms, man. Come join us anytime you want. So I was checking out the Twitter post here. This is from Jagex Support. So if you do have a problem logging in, you should file something. I believe you can file in-game, but since you can't log in, you file on the website, or you go to Jagex Support at Twitter and see if they can help you out. But for those who have used Jagex Support before, they're not too reliable. If you're unable to log in, please only submit one report at this link. Submitting multiple tickets will result in longer wait times. And then if you read some of the comments here, I've been waiting several days for my account to be restored. I'm so sorry, Zoe. And have already reached out for support. And then pretty much copy pasta, Jagex help Frost. I'm not even sure if that's somebody who's trying to help. They're not verified at all, so I have no idea. Be careful, there are scammers and there are memers out here that will troll you. But the list just goes on, and people who cannot log into RuneScape still, and I wish I knew why, man. We have a couple assumptions, but looking at verified posts and websites, they're just not giving us much. Another Jagex support tweet coming in. Hey there, usually it takes our team around 48 hours to reply. Jesus. If you've been informed that our team is aware of this issue, this might mean there is no fix yet, and they are working on this issue. Going on 70 hours without being able to log in. Wondering how many other out there are in the same predicament. And if you are in that predicament, comment. Let us know, man. I, I Maybe we can help each other out in the comments. I'm not sure. Just spread awareness. But I think those who are suffering right there, you're not alone. There are a lot of people not able to lo be logged in. I don't think your accounts are in any, any danger. But... Um, we're still trying to figure this out. Now, this is the original post for those who just wanted to keep up to date on what is happening. This is, uh, they just, we went over this last time, but pretty much login issues, corrupted servers, you couldn't switch servers, and if your account was in one of the corrupted servers, well, it means you just can't log in. Uh, there could be possible rollbacks. I do know that they mentioned a 15 minute rollback that we covered in the last episode. But yeah, their final note, still the same. Just to close, we really do appreciate your continued patience and understanding. Please know the team are working flat out to make this right and will keep you updated. It is Sunday and I am not very updated. But I have been reading your guys' comments on my videos. For some reason they are not right here. Uh, I think it updated weirdly right there. But I was reading your guys' comments. Some of you are very helpful. I believe cloud services were acting up yesterday because there are quite a few big games such as Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, and uh, countless others that had trouble with connecting, all on the same day. And if they all use the cloud services, this could be what is happening. But 
I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you it is because like I said, RuneScape has not reported this. I'm trying to get any info from the JMods, but so far no one. They did comment a little bit on Reddit, but they haven't mentioned anything about the cloud services. And yes, OSRS and RuneScape 3 were both down, but it seems like OSRS is back up and running. He blames China. <laughs> <laughs> and for the market view, I will be looking at the Dragon Hunter Cross, but I asked you guys if you want me to look at any Grand Exchange item and see how it's doing, kind of give you, I don't know, my feedback just for entertainment purposes, I will be looking at the Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Uh, thank you, Marcus. Uh, and I love this post. It was either China, Dupers, or your mom. So keep that in the back of your heads there. You never know. This was actually from Mod Kari. I've seen this post a couple times. I don't use the Discord, but I've seen this from multiple sites. I've checked the Modkari Twitter. She she hasn't posted anything on her Twitter, but I'm sure she's more active on um, uh, <laughs> Discord. There were some technical issues impacting the login servers. People reported they couldn't get online. The team investigated. The team found the issue and fixed all but one of the servers. This login server was a naughty server, and she might be memeing, but I I think she this is actually real. I, <laughs> The way she the way she words it, I'm I'm not a hundred percent though. Naughty server who liked being difficult. It also didn't eat its vegetables and hated puffies. This one server had to be rolled back in order to get it to behave, and the aim was to roll it back to around 2 p.m. this afternoon, which I believe this was uh, March 4th, March 4th when it was happening. The naughty servers, however, didn't want to play no games and stuck up its middle finger and plunged the world into darkness and chaos, rolling people back decades. The team are sad, but determined to make it right. So they're working tirelessly now into the night. Thank you, Modkari. I enjoyed that. Um, I think she was just trying to put it in the layman's terms so we don't get super confused on, on how the servers work, because I'm sure there's a lot of uh, words that we're not going to completely understand. Now, I had another comment pulled up, but I think I already read it. But that, that's pretty much what we know. Uh, this is on the RuneScape reddit post not the old school talking about the psa issue preventing players from logging in uh mod Kari again apparently the person to follow but uh she has not been active on twitter so maybe you can find her on discord also mod Huli has been very helpful but also kind of just rinse and repeating the same thing work is still continuing to restore our login servers we have no significant milestones to report yet but good progress is being made we hope to have more substantial news soon this was two days ago I'm trying to find that info, man. I am trying my best. I'm sure you guys probably already have found it, though. So that, that's why I like making these daily videos so we can all get together and find the information because I am definitely not perfect. Can you confirm that everyone will get their account back as it was before the crash, at least? Or is there a possibility that some will not get their account back? So some people are worried. I've seen multiple comments that their accounts could get deleted, but they're just assuming. I seriously doubt that RuneScape would delete any accounts but i mean if you can't log in for multiple days i'd assume you'd start getting scared yesterday they sounded confident but the story is changing today so i'm really worried <laughs> thank you for the update thanks for checking in constantly if you know good progress being made does that mean the team knows what the problem is uh doo -doo -doo -doo, no replies really and then at the very bottom thanks for regular updates what's going on jagex transferring files over question mark the corrupted files mod kari mentioned is worrying too i couldn't find where mod kari talked about corrupted files but uh i'm sure someone would probably tweet that at me my uh, twitter is down below so let me know and i can cover that uh, but i couldn't find it <laughs> i'm still learning how to scour the web for runescape news i'm still learning all these j mods to follow there are so many on the old school team and the runescape team uh, so it, it's taking me some time, but we'll perfect this soon enough. This is going to be another Reddit post. Uh, the work to get people playing again would take us through the weekend and into this early week. So they said the weekend. Now they're saying into the early week is when you should see your accounts being able to log in. These are all old updates that I'm not going to read. Pretty much just trying to keep people up to date when they were panicking the most, but they keep delaying that login time. First, it was a day, the weekend, the week. Hopefully soon, you guys will be great. I did check all the JMod replies, but it's just pretty much rinse and repeat from this post. There is not much here. But Huli does say two hours ago is much more of a recent post replying to uh, Rusty Magoo. I'm a bit disappointed in the customer care team. It's been over 22 hours since the last update. Even if it's a generic copy and paste of we're working on it, the community could really use the motivational support right now. 
It is true. Uh, and then Huli says, the team are very much working on this. We don't really have anything specific to share. So we gave him a copy paste. Latest update we got from Huli, copy pasta of we're working on it, but we have nothing to share. Uh, so demotivating. I'm so curious. It could be the cloud servers. It could be corrupted servers. But all we have right now is a bunch of coulds. And that's just ridiculous. Um, this is pretty much what they're doing Saturday, March 6th. I haven't seen any Sunday updates. So this is going to be the latest update on the RuneScape webpage. Uh, and it's just telling you to submit your ticker. Ah, they're drinking coffee. They're working on it. Submit if you got a problem. Don't spam them. Uh, I wish there were more to report, but I'll uh, I'll be reading the comments yet again to see if you guys have any inside knowledge because I know you RuneScapers keep up the date probably even better than I do. But let's get into some fun news. There is an art competition going on for old school RuneScape. There's actually a couple competitions. The six Jads have just came in, so the fastest time and I believe the most unique kill, and you get a year's worth of RuneScape membership and like a black dragon build a bear thing. I don't know what that is. I kind of wish they let us do community prize pools where we could all throw in GP and then give it to the winner. So it would bring a lot more hype to the community and make it worth it. But also the art, art competition is going to give you a uh, year of RuneScape membership as well. The rules are you must use the color of a banana in your design, submit your artwork to any relevant social media, media platform, and uh, use the hashtag OSRS design a hat. You have until March 22nd, so you got a whiles away. And um, pretty much PvP World Rota, nothing really else to report here if you guys already know about the 6 Jad Challenge, which I'm sure most of you do. Uh, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to go over some of the design ideas. Because <laughs> uh, people are making banana hats on Reddit. <laughs> I don't know how that has anything to do with banana, but yeah, we got the Sherlock Holmes banana, the Robin Hood banana, the Cav banana. I'd wear them all. Um, I, I don't actually know what that is. Uh, I think that's one of the crown bananas, and I don't know. I don't know, but I'm loving it. We also got the uh, pretty much golden Slayer Helm, and I think bananas are shooting out of it with a little banana in front. And um, I'm, I'm just going to be real. This would probably sell for like two bill if this came into the game. It, it definitely would. Oh, oops. Sorry. That's a little bit of a spoiler. I thought I had one more banana left. Thought we, uh, we're not going to end it here, but thought we just uh, try to get some smiles on you. Here is some cute noobs in RuneScape. We got Sure I Ran 1 rocking the Ranger Set Pagasians Full Bandos DFS ACB Killing Fire Giants. Someone ran his mom's credit card, and she is about to go into some serious, serious debt. I wanted to show that for last, but you know what, man? Maybe you guys needed to pick me up midway through the video. <laughs> uh, and then Market Watch. Let's see what's going on. I thought it'd be cool to see the uh, most traded items so far in old school. I won't be checking regular RuneScape. Their economy's rip. But the old school economy, well, you know, it's still got a couple years left, I'd assume. Most traded items will be fire runes, feathers, purees, cannonballs, pretty much anything you can clump up together. They're just going like crazy. Cosmics, everything you would really expect, uh, suspect people to trade quite often. I don't know if it's changed from the last seven days to the last month. No, no, these, these stay constant. These stay constant. We probably won't go over this again, but I think it's pretty cool to see what people trade most in runescape but the most valuable items the most valuable items in old school is going to be the third age pickaxe which is going for 1.9 druidic robes which are still about two bill per piece the elijah which took a huge crash i've lost a lot of money on that bit and then we got the twisted bow third age bow all going for around uh 1.1 bill maintaining its price third age bow maintaining its price as well harmonized orb dropped a ton it looks like oh my god Check this out. Holy moly. That's right about when it came out, the 1.6 bill. Actually, it probably came out a couple more months before then because I know it was about 2 bill for a while, and it just absolutely crashed. Will it keep going down? I'm not sure. Do you not make any trades on my behalf? But I'd assume that because Nightmare is, uh, is being botted, but not a lot of people are doing outside bots, that it could definitely still fall. So be careful for Nightmare items 
and uh, I had a viewer who wanted me to go over the Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Now, I didn't even think about the Dragon Hunter Crossbow. This is quite an item. Oh my god. Right now, you can see it just absolutely crashing. Is this a good time to buy? I might actually pick it up for myself, but I, I don't know if you guys should buy it. But if we look at the three months, we could see that it went on an absolute ride to over 115 mil, dumped down, and then is just continuously going down. But you can see it's hitting this 90 mil uh, line multiple times. It's having a lot of touch points on this 90 mil line. It's about to touch it again. So will it skyrocket or will it do a little dip to about 85 mil? Um, the lowest price point right now in the last six months is about 85. It's going for about 89 mil. So it could could spike. I don't know. We will see it could dump a little lower. I don't see it going under 85 mil, but RuneScape economy is it's all over the place. So I uh, <laughs> it does look like a good item to trade though, man. I might have to pick it up. Seems like it's getting traded quite often too, averaging around 3,000 trades per day, 2,000, and today is about 900. But the day just started. The day just started. And then we'll end it off with a little uh, banana farmer's straw hat ornament kit. That is uh, absolutely adorable. So I'll try to find more news on why RuneScape is uh, not letting a lot of people log into their accounts. I'm trying my best here, boys. Thanks for supporting this little daily upload series. You guys are loving it. You know what to do. Comment down below if you want to see any more merches that I could go through. Uh, just kind of give... I don't know, my thoughts. I don't know if they're worth anything, but I'm always down to uh, check the items out, see what's going up, see what's going down. And like always, I will see you in the next episode.